Hey what's up guys my name is Farjana welcome to my another tutorial In this video I will show you how to design the WooCommerce shop page and also the product archive pages using Elementor By default it's showing like this for our shop page and each of the categories and in this tutorial, I will show you how you can customize the shop page design and also how to add our custom own design for each of the product item. This is the final design which I will create in this tutorial. And following the tutorial, you can add your own custom design as you want. For this tutorial, I am going to use the Elementor Pro version and also we'll use the new upcoming feature of elementor loop grid but this feature is still in their beta version so i don't recommend to use this feature to your live website because they are still upgrading day by day and they will be live soon to their upcoming versions and if you still did not get the Elementor Pro version, I will leave the Elementor Pro download link in my description so you can check it from there now let's go ahead and without any further ado, let's get started. So this is the default design for product archive pages. This is for shop and also if I go for any of the categories like t-shirt, you can see the same design. This is kind of bold and old design. Now I want to customize this design with my own design so first of all i have to go to the elementor and settings and going to experiment so first i want to improve the design for each of the item so for that experiment and here you will find a new feature the loop so i'm going to use this one this is still in beta version but uh, this will come to live to their upcoming new version so till then we can use it from activating from the experiment and also i'm activating the flexbox container mode from here and finally save changes this is already activated after that i'm going to start the design for each of the items so for that going to template and theme builder from here in the left bottom we will find the loop item going to add new all right first of all i'm going to settings from left bottom and preview settings we can set it as product so if you install the woocommerce already you will find these options and all instead of that we can set any specific item like hoodie I have added some dummy products then query source type we can set it to products apply all right now we will see all the single item in the element list these are also available in single product page also so first of all i need to add the product image in top so click on this plus icon and we can select this type of container or if you don't use the container mode, if you want to use the default section structure, you can also go with that. So now, first of all, click on this plus icon and featured image. You can use this. The caption, you can skip that. The link, you can set the URL to custom URL and dynamic tags. You can set it to post url so this will be linked to each of the single product page then i'm going to add the product name after that so again going here and product title we can change the html tag to h3 making the alignment to center and also we can add link to post url and we can change the styling i'm changing the color to black and also the font size we can set it to 18 or 20 yeah looks good 
after that we can set the price so product price is here you can take it the color we can make it the same color alignment center i can't see it now we can update it later also the design and finally if we want to add some product rating product meta information description all is available here you can use it as you want now i want to add the add to card button so custom add to card we can add this and here is some options button we can change the button text the alignment i'm making it center and also you can change the icon icon position all is here going to style tab i'm changing the button color you can leave the background color and text color i'm making it to black and also the typography i'm changing the font style making it to uppercase adding some letter spacing and light we can send the weight to 400 all right looks good uh, and finally we can add some box shadow for each of the item going to edit container and style tab then border enabling the box shadow we can also customize it finally saving it all right so our single item design is done or we can update it later if we want for now i'm going back and again going to theme builder this time i'm going to design the whole page template so in the same way going to product archive going to add new you can cross it the plus icon taking this container first we can set the top area or banner area so i'm taking the archive title this is the h1 i'm making it to center line also we can increase the height mean height and this is the flexible container so i'm making it to vertically center and also we can set the background color or background image so we can also use any dynamic image instead of this for now i'm going to upload a static image position center center size cover repeat no repeat all right and now going to change the text style making the color to white you can leave it then going for the next section adding another container you can add some padding for this one for top 50 and bottom 50 all right now going to plus icon by default we use the archive products this item and then we can if I take this so it's taking the same layout or same item as we can see here and we can make some small changes from the style tab but here we want to take our custom loop so for now I'm removing it and instead of that I'm searching for loop and here is the loop grid we have to select the template type products and choose template we have to select the template name which we have created so elemental loop item we can also name it to a different one so we can remember you can see it's showing here the column and item per page we can change it for now it's showing three item per column sorry the three column we can change it to four Okay, three is good you can set it to masonry grid i'm leaving it equal height and then query by default it's showing the latest product so it will show all the product and 
by latest item. So we want to show it for archive product. So that case we have to select it to current query. So it will work as per our page query. For example, when you go to the t-shirt, it will only show the all t-shirt and when you go for others category, it will show all the products for that category. Then pagination, we can add or enabling the pagination. For now, we don't have so many items, but we have the options. We can also customize it from here. Here is the style tab. You can add some more style like spacing between each of the item. You can check all this. For now, I'm going to publish, add condition, all product archives and save and close. Now, if I refresh, this is the t-shirt category. It's getting our design. And also, if I check the shop page, cool. It's getting the same design for shop and also for all archive pages. If I want to still customize this area, you can do it from here also. Go to edit template and the price. I want to decrease the font size. So going to typography, I'm making it to 14 or yeah, 17 is good. Okay, and we can decrease the spacing between each of the item. So for that, going to the edit container and here is the gap between element we can make it to 5 and also going to image adding some space in bottom making it to unlink margin bottom we can add 8 now save and back now if again refresh yeah it's updated so in the same way we can customize or add our own design to the shop page and product archive pages so that's all for today hope this tutorial will help you if you find this tutorial helpful give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here and like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel. Finally, if you like to work with me for any WordPress project, you can contact me through my website. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.